come out of retirement for today? I have. I rolled over in the grave. I got out of the coffin and I came here from Springfield. I'm here to help make an impression on the current administration that all need to be treated equally, regardless of their gender, regardless of their sexual orientation, regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of their religious or non-religious views. All people, not just Americans, but people across the world. You passed one of the most historic legislations in history. You actually had to know, have an understanding of facts. This president, a lot of people think he's just making it up as he goes along. Oh, here he is. Uh, he, he, he's saying you're not really, he, He's saying you're not really, uh, don't know your facts, and you're not inclusive enough. What do you say? Sad. Sad, man. Sad. Mr. President, a lot of people think you're going to be impeached within, like, six months. Those people don't know what they're talking about. It will be amazing. It will be so good. This man is old. He's tired. Sad. Mr. Lincoln, how do you feel when this man uses your legacy to point to the Republican Party as the party of African Americans? Well, the Republican Party has almost done a 180 degree shift from what it was when I was the president. I was the first Republican president and a lot of things switched. So it's really hard to compare Republicans today to Republicans when I was in office. I hope that answers your question. And excuse me, can you both put your hands up? I just want to see a comparison of the hands. Ooh. Oh, he's got way bigger hands than uh, our current president. I thought you said your hands are rather large. My hands are phenomenal size, phenomenal. Huge, huge hands. Well, that's questionable. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Yes. Mr. President.